Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing quick review of this Camelback Crux Reservoir. I'm gonna show you the features and why I think it's a great replacement reservoir. Let's do it. Now it is really important that you are replacing your reservoir unless you're keeping it really clean or just not using it. We use this quite frequently when we are on long hikes or long mountain bikes, maybe if I'm taking the dog and need a backpack on a bike ride. And so it's important, depending on our water source, that we're replacing these reservoirs. Again, for us, usually it's every couple of years to make sure these are clean and uncontaminated. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing our old reservoir in this Camelback Blowfish. Now I did have a two liter reservoir in here, but like I said, on those really long desert hikes or desert mountain bike rides like in Moab, I found myself running really low on water. And so just in case I decided to go ahead and get an extra liter here, and that would give me just that little extra amount in the event that we do have a really long events, overnight backpacks, those kind of things. So the Crux Reservoir was actually our best pick. Uh, it's got a really nice, again, twist on, lock on lid, uh, and then a handle here spout for us to be able to use to fill up water. It's also got a really nice big bite valve and actually they're boasting 20% more water per sip with this newest technology. We also have a nice on off valve for our big bite uh, area right here to allow water to be locked into the reservoir. Okay, so out of the packaging, you can see we've got the main reservoir and then we have our hose. What I really like about this hose is it actually has a quick release system in case you want to remove this. So basically, you basically you just put it down into this housing area, and then we're just gonna push down, and it's gonna literally snap right into place. Now, if you want to release that, you just hit that little side tab, it's gonna pop it right out, and then we can remove that hose, either for cleaning, again, or just for storage, so it's not flopping around. Really, really cool little quick release feature there. Again, we've got this nice little tongue where we can hold on to it and you can see it bends the opening out in the direction of our faucet so we can fill this thing up really nicely. This is also is made of a very specific material and they've put antibacterial elements in this to again prevent contamination. Now remember, you do need to keep this thing nice and clean, aired out. There's other uh, little accessories you can buy that keep this from collecting water and holding on to that bacteria. There's also some pills that you can put in this to clean it every once in a while that work really, really well. Again, let's go back up to the uh, mouth of the reservoir here in this little uh, locking mechanism. This is held on by a little piece of plastic so you don't lose the top here, but it slides on and off really easily. And then once you put it back on, you get a really nice lockdown tight effect to prevent water from leaking out of the top there. You also have these nice little hanger elements up here at the top. This is so you can hang it on a few of those accessories, leave it upright and allow it to dry out when not in use. Okay, so here we are at the sink and let's take a look at filling this reservoir up with water. I'm gonna turn on the water here. Basically just stick it right underneath your faucet. We live in Colorado and so our water is really, really clean. But if you have a filter on your refrigerator or something like that, again, this will work fairly well. As you can see, that's filling up nice and easily there. And I'm actually gonna fill it all the way up with that full three liters of water. Do remember that if you're moving up from a two liter reservoir, that this is, is gonna add a lot more weight onto your pack. So just be aware of that. Okay, you can barely see the three liter mark over there on the side. I think that's about good. Let's kick off the water. Okay, I'm gonna put our top back on now and we're gonna see how this thing looks. All right, something else to note, as you can see, the reservoir and inner tube surfaces contain that HydroGuard additive. Now this is again to inhibit the 
growth of microorganisms, but you have to realize it does not protect the user from disease causing organisms. So don't go filling the reservoir up from a stream because you could end up with something nasty in your gut. You do need to have some sort of a filter for your water source before it goes into your reservoir. Okay, here we are. You can see the mummy shape taking effect. And again, I actually have the hose out and what's really cool is I can move this around, bring it up and water will not leak out. So that is really handy if you just want to be able to manipulate the reservoir here without the hose getting tangled or in the way. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in our pack and see how it fits with that hose in there. Okay, here's the blowfish bag and as you can see, my zipper compartment actually fits this full three liters really, really nicely. So the next piece now is to actually run our hose up one of our straps here. There's a little hole that goes right inside this pocket right here. And so I'm gonna run the hose through there and then we can attach it to the reservoir. Okay, I'm gonna show you how the nozzle works really quickly. So you can see that if it's in this upward position, it's gonna allow water to flow through. If you wanna lock it out, you simply move this little gray clip over like this, and now nothing will come out. That's obviously just a little bit of water that remained in that nozzle. But now when I push it down like this, nothing else comes out. So that's a way of stopping up water just in case you need to do that. I'm gonna move this back up into that position. And then once you push on that nozzle, you can see a whole bunch of water comes out. So you may, first use, you may wanna run just an entire batch of water through this thing just to clean out potentially any gunk or anything up there that got in during manufacturing. Uh, as you can see, man, just touching that nozzle is doing a really good job of getting a lot of water flow through. So already I'm really, really liking that. Okay, so I've got the pack on. You can see I ran my hose down over my left strap here. And now I can just reach up and grab my nozzle, bite down and get water. Uh, I really, really do like this big flow nozzle. You really do get a really nice, good gulp of water every time you bite down and allow that stream to, uh, to flow. So again, it feels actually really good on my pack too. Now this pack is designed to hold a three liter, but again, the way the bag settles into the backpack feels really nice. And quite frankly, I don't notice a large difference between my two liter reservoir and this new three liter reservoir. So friends, I hope that has helped. I am gonna recommend this, big thumbs up. Again, links in the description box below if you wanna buy this on Amazon. Go out, adventure, have a good time. Let us know what you think if you do end up with this thing. And uh, hit that subscribe button because we got a bunch more gear as well as garage tutorials that are coming up really soon. Thanks so much for watching.